Been quite a long time since I've last uh, posted a video of uh, cooking, but first of all, it's been yeah, quite a really nice summer time, you know, so I spent a lot of time outside enjoying the sun, and then also had a, a sick relative to tend to over the last few weeks. But here I am back today to do a wee video. Uh, you've seen the picture of the ingredients, so today what I'm going to make is a haggis soup, something on a uh, People are asking for recipes, Scottish recipes, this time of year coming up to uh, St Andrew's Day and things to do with haggis. So this is one for these guys and we'll get it started and I hope you like it. So just turn on the heat. So you saw in the picture there the ingredients of the haggis, the cream uh, and just simple already chopped up mixes you can get from the supermarket or some uh, potato and leeks and carrots and turnip, okay. So, start off with a little bit of butter, just to melt that down a wee bit. And what we're going to do with this, as with any pot of soup, you sweat off your, your base, which is your veg if you're making a soup with a vegetable base in it, okay. So this is the only way, so we'll just let that happen and we'll be back with you in a wee second. So we can see that's kind of bubbling away quite gently now we can add in more vegetables. I'm not going to use all of this stuff because we don't need to. Probably some of it I'll freeze it for another soup another time. this off for a minute or two. So this is not a hard recipe and really it's a bit like another way to eat haggis meats and potatoes I suppose on a Scottish steam party whether it's St Andrew's Day which we've been missing for or um, a Burns Night which is becoming a lot more commonplace now. People celebrating Scottish heritage and this is soup as well, it doesn't really need a lot of um, stock in it because the stock is already in the flavour of the haggis that we're going to use, okay? So just sweating this off, adding some salt and pepper to season it a little bit. You can hear those sounds, it's quite nice to hear the vegetables just Flying away if you want to see or sweating as the correct term would be in a college or in chef language. And so what we're doing is in a, in, a, in a pot of soup, when we do this, we're getting the cooking process of the vegetables started and also the flavours of those vegetables will release into the soup that we're going to make. So basically for now this is all about it, I'm just going to add in some water to let uh, the vegetables simmer away and then that's really the first part of this soup done. So that's all we need to do just now, we can go away, have a cup of tea and come back in 20 minutes or so and do the next bit, okay? Okay guys, so this um, pot of broth, as it is at the minute, has been simmering away or boiling for a good good 20 minutes. Turned the heat down now, I did earlier on there just put a wee one stock cube in it. So now I'm going to add in the haggis. Now, as you can see here, you know, the haggis right there. This doesn't have to be some 
you know, fancy haggis from the best butcher in the world down at the supermarket or from your best butcher or anything. It really can just be a bit of tinned haggis. It will do the job just as much as a haggis that's in the net. So it'll taste just the exact same because really what we're doing this once it's ready like in a normal pot of soup is we're going to uh, liquidise it, okay? So that's it all going in. So now we just need to let this simmer in together for a little while. Uh, just going to add in another tiny bit of water. So you can see that quite quickly the haggis starts to break up and immerse itself into the, the liquor and the vegetables and broth mix. And then one or two more minutes we will liquidise the soup, okay? Okay, so you can see the, the soup as it is just now. This is how it should look before we go in and liquidise it or blend the soup and everything's all mixed in, the haggis is completely broken down into the liquor and now I'll, I'll liquidise it and we'll do the next bit. Okay so here we are, the soup's now been liquidised and blended. Now I'm going to add in cream. This is a cream soup. What you can do if you want also is not to blend it and then you've got more of a bit of a soup with a lot more bite and it's a bit, a bit more like a chowder, okay? goes in and there we have it one carton of cream of around 300 mils okay millilitres and that is it this is the soup ready to go you can add more cream in if you so choose and to have it more of a creamy texture but and that's the soup and now we'll, we'll um, dish the soup up. So there we have it guys, um, cream of haggis soup, um, sprinkled with a few chives to give it a bit more of an oniony taste through it and topped off with a little bit of a uh, farmhouse wholemeal bread and butter and that really is like a meal in itself. People talk about minestrone soup being a meal in itself. This is the same and very Scottish, very very filling and really nice tea so if you like this video please press like press subscribe if you want to see other videos that will come out and have a look at the channel and see what else is on there thanks for watching bye